HCG family. It's me, Miss HCG Girl, and I'm checking in for VLCD day number two on round seven. Um, today is October 17th. It's a Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. I always think of Terry HCG when I think of Happy Hump Day. Anyway, um, I wanted to check in with my weight and my first drop on round seven. Um, I weighed in this morning at 148.6. I had lost 3.1 pounds. By far, it's not my best drop on BLCD day two. Considering last round, I think my first drop was 5.1 pounds. Um, I think that the inflammation in my body is something to do with what's going on in, uh, right now with me. And uh, this morning I got up and my joints were swollen and I was hurting and I went ahead and I ate a tiny bit of Faye 0% yogurt with some strawberry spread and in order to take my ibuprofen. I'm not going to tear up my stomach and I also took an antihistamine and a decongestant. And my nose, I've done the neti pot. You guys, I'm doing things this round that I wasn't doing the rounds before. Uh, I have seen an allergist this past year, and he has put me on a bunch of stuff. I take, like, Nasonex in the nose. I have an, two different kinds of inhalers. I'm taking 24-hour Zyrtec when I go to bed. That's normally not even enough to ward off the allergy symptoms that I struggle with in my body. And uh, anyway, I'm just throwing that out there. And also, uh, my uh, nurse practitioner, um, and, and that noise you hear in the background, I'm making my Southwest Taco Sprout Soup for lunch. Um, and uh, anyway, my doctor, my primary doctor, uh, recommended me and my husband, she recommended that my husband take this to help him sleep at night, and she recommended that I take it so that it will help my adrenals um, function better. And, of course, I don't want any thyroid problems, and I surely don't need any other problems in my life, but I started taking this, and this is actually compounded at a local pharmacy here. It's called phosphatidyl serine, okay, and you can look this up, and there's whatever it is, you take it 45 minutes, 10 hours before you want to go to sleep, and I can promise you, me and my husband have been sleeping deeper since we've been taking this, but I overheard somebody talking on one of the blogs this week about uh, less, 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 less of thin, soy less of, less of thin, or whatever, and I think that's what this comes from. So it could affect my releases, I don't know, but I do think that sleep is a key for me right now to get enough rest. So I'm going to continue taking it. Um, anyway, I also started a multi B vitamin to help uh, my energy levels. And of course, I only have one more vial to do one more B12 injection uh, this round. And I'll probably wait till next week to inject myself. I have given, I buy this for my daughter at Walmart, the B Complex. And I give it to her, it's sublingual. And it's got sorbitol in it. And I think that's just a zero calorie sweetener of some kind. If somebody may want to elaborate in the comments down here. And um, anyway. But this thing is called, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll try to zoom in on that. Anyway, I wanted to throw that out there, and I also wanted to say that another thing that I'm doing different this round, I had not done it for six rounds, is I had taken 150 IUs of HCG every day injection. I had never lowered my dose, even though I had lost 111 pounds. And I noticed towards the end of both of my rounds, last, last two rounds, I got hungry. And I really think it had to do with, um, uh, it wasn't the potency of the RX at HCG because I tested it. It had to do with my dosing. And so I am dosing between 125 and 130 IUs right now. And uh, I already filled up all my injection needles and I had bought... Uh, over a year ago, I had bought, um, or maybe it was last year, the beginning of last year, in 2011, before All Day Chemist 
quit selling QCOG and RxHCG, I bought five vials of the 2000 IU uh, QCOG. And so I just mixed up um, injections for that. And I want to think it was 14 or 15 injection needles that I filled up and I have it in the fridge. So uh, that's how I'm doing it this time and I put it in a paper bag, in a Ziploc bag, in a paper bag so that none of the light gets to it or anything like that. Um, this morning what was interesting was about the body fat. I got on the, I'm not taking my weight on the health meter but since it measures some kind of body fat I decided I'd get on there and see what it said. So when I got on there it had said I was um, I think it said uh, uh, if the weight wasn't the same as the Wii. It was like off by 0.2 or 0.4. And then the body fat said I was 35.5. That's only 0.1% from yesterday, and I lost 3.1 pounds. But after my shower, I decided to get on it again just to double check because I didn't even step on it twice for the body fat at that point. I just wanted to see what the body fat would show and um, it showed that I had 30.5% body fat after my shower. So I don't think that that's very reliable to, um, to check out anyway. And uh, I, I do plan on getting me a body fat mo monitor. I need to get on Amazon and get that today. Uh, I've been wanting one. I want to measure my body fat for those days when the inches are moving to see if it's fat releasing or whatever. But... Um, I just thought I'd put that out there since HCG Chica and a few other people are always talking about their body fat. So, hey, throwing it out there. I feel a lot better today um, as far as the swelling. I'm still inflamed, but nowhere near what I was yesterday. And yesterday, I just had all those little tiny, it's, it feels like a million little bugs inside your skin. I know it's weird to describe that way. But my stomach and all this area went down, and I'm sure it's from where I was bloated. From well, first of all, before I say that, that uh, I wanted to say, go back to the dosing. I'm skipping a shot every week on Sundays. I think I said that yesterday, and um, that's my plan anyway. And on that day, I'm going to measure. I get a lot of days. questions uh, all the time asked to me about... Um, where I buy things, especially my HCG or my B12, people want to know where I buy it. I just told you where I bought it last year, and the expiration on it isn't until 2014 or something like that on the RX HCG. Now, um, All Day Chemist is no longer selling RX HCG. Uh, I suggest you uh, head over to HCG Chica's channel and check out the company that she's talking about that's in the USA if you're concerned. If not, purchase it from, um, there's escrow refills and I think that's what All Day Chemist turned into or Pharmacy Escrow turned into and you can uh, hit them up for some art. There is a person CG. named Macy Ray 81 and she asked me um, how much coconut oil or MCT oil do I use? I started out with a teaspoon at a time and I just ate it on my first few rounds like before or after a meal and then uh, I worked up to two tablespoons a day. One tablespoon is three teaspoons, okay? So I suggest if you're going to use coconut oil, don't mix coconut oil and MCT oil on the same day if you're going to try this for the first time on the very low calorie. MCT oil is the best part of coconut oil and palm oil. I don't always do well um, with palm oil. So that was one of the questions and uh, there are people that work up to four tablespoons a day of that and it's uh, bodybuilders or people that are exercising while they're doing the protocol. It really helps your metabolism. Also, uh, like I said before, uh, I can't tell you where to get HCG because the people aren't selling it. That sold me mine and then um, what was the other one and what is a mini load day you asked me what is that a mini load day is where somewhere in your round this is off protocol look look at me people okay uh, this is not pop pop is perfect on protocol Dr. Simeon's 100% uh, protocol this is mop 
uh, me and many, many, many others who have either had a stall or were struggling, you're stuck on the same number for, you know, you keep bouncing around the same number. Sometimes you can break that by having a mini load day where you eat nothing but what you want during the day and then you go back to the very low calorie the next day. And you definitely want to inject and take your medicine on the day that you do the mini load day. And a lot of times people will see their releases pick up after they do that. That's my definition of a mini load day. Somebody else may have a different uh, definition of a mini load day. And um, anyway, other than that, um, I just want to say hi to everybody who's commented on my channel. There are so many of you. And uh, I want to say, uh, first of all, there's... Uh, some newbies that I'm following that are getting really into recipes and I'm watching your recipes and as you make recipes uh, I add them to the P2, P3, or P4 recipe playlist on my channel so that people can easily find recipes in that category. Um, I, I'm so proud of the people who have completed their first round and made a lot of progress. Um, I could talk for days about all of you. Ah, anyway, on here. I am going to get off of here. Uh, I have some work to do and some things to get accomplished today. Um, I just wanted to pop on and say hi. I love each and every one of you. And uh, I'll give you a shot of my Southwest Taco Sprout Soup. And it's, I think it's 189 calories or something like that. And that's with use, using very low fat meat. And um, I'm going to take you there right now. Anyway, I hope you can see that. It's not, the color on the camera doesn't look like anything in the pot. But you can see that there's uh, little uh, sprouts in here that I cut up. I only put four, and then I've made my own sauce out of no-salt tomatoes and um, some paste. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, peace out. <laughs>